Hey everyone, before I get into this video, I want to remind you to enter our giveaway for Trials of Mana. Now, you don't have to get the Switch version. You can get it for any system it happens to be releasing on. It will be a digital code given away at the end of the month. To enter, all you need to do is like this video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon, making sure it's set to all notifications for the channel. That way, you're notified of every video, every live stream, every podcast that goes up on this channel. That being said, let's get into the video. Hey everyone, do you own a Nintendo Switch and are happily playing Animal Crossing New Horizons or whatever you, you want to play during this whole uh, stay-at-home venture that's happening due to the worldwide pandemic? Well, here's the thing, that's great and all, but right now, if you don't already own a Switch, it's probably pretty hard for you to get one. Um, especially if you live in the United States and also the UK and even Japan ran out over the last weekend. They've, they've been getting some regular restocks though, uh, but even they're running low on supply now. It was anticipated by Nintendo back uh, in February that there would be shortages in April in the U.S. specifically, and people were just kind of dismissing it, saying, well, it won't really be that bad. Uh, the factories in China will be back up, and, and, and things will be fine. That isn't really the case. Let's get into this news. It actually comes from uh, Japan. I'm using JapaneseNintendo.com because they do English translations of Japanese Nintendo news. Uh, so here's what they had to say. Um, so as you see here, back in February, um, it said that due to the influence from the current outbreak of novel coronavirus infection, we are now foreseeing an unavoidable delay in production and shipments for Nintendo Switch consoles and peripherals such as Joy-Cons, among others, that are made in China towards Japan's domestic market. Now, that was towards Japan's domestic market. Obviously, they're doing you know, whatever. Uh, here we are in April of 2020. It says, we didn't mention the Switch Lite because there was still enough stock in the market at the time of publication in February. But the point that many of its parts are made in China is the same. We are doing various efforts inside the company, although shipments haven't stagnated. They are getting delayed. So basically, shipments of Switch and Switch Lite uh, have been delayed pretty much indefinitely at this point although there are people who think it'll be going back out by the end of uh, this month right now i have actually heard from very reliable people that there has not been a new shipment of switches since march 15th so march 15th was the last time the u.s got a shipment of switch lights and or regular switches so that's to give you an idea there has been no new switches coming into the u.s for over two weeks um that explains why we're running out of Switches as well as the release of Animal Crossing. So uh, pretty crazy. Now, if you want further proof that the Switch is hard to get, keep in mind, hard to get, not impossible for some of us. And I'll, I'll show you that in a moment here because here's Walmart.com, which is just showing um, local stuff. And you'll see, you know, an OG Switch selling at 453. This version, these three colors of the Switch Lite selling at this. Now, you'll see that this is the uh, the pink version, the coral version, I guess they call it, available for $199, but that's because it's only available for local pickup. So that means that my local Walmart, and not even the one closest to me, it's one in Eau Claire, because um, there's one, one between uh, here in Eau Claire, does have two of these in stock. Uh, so if you're lucky, you might be able to find a local place that has one or two. Uh, some of you guys in more rural areas that have, you know, even smaller populations might be able to find, you know, eight or so. Uh, but there's no more coming. So once those are sold, they're gone for a while. Um, and you can tell that this is an issue because even in my area, you can't get these at price. You know, it's being, you know, this is being sold and shipped by worldwide distributors, which means basically people are reselling um, systems that they bought. Uh, and you can see this way true on Amazon. Here's Amazon, you know, 521 bucks for the, for the Mario Kart 8 bundle. Uh, you're seeing 280 uh, for the Switch Lite here. Um, Obviously, this is a special collector's edition, so we can kind of ignore that. 451 for just a normal switch. 450, um, 280 again. 244, 254 uh, for these lights. I mean, they are being resold right now by, by people who happen to own some because they are sold out. And eBay's, I mean, eBay's an even worse story. Um, you know, obviously this is the this is the special edition Animal Crossing bundle, so that being a little pricey isn't that too bad. But you know, you see here, you know, three hundred and eighty dollars for a Switch Lite, three seventy five uh, for what looks like a used Switch. It's opened for crying out loud, and it's selling for three seventy five. This one at least includes some games in it, which probably makes it worth the value based on I see Odyssey, Zelda, um, Pokemon, and ah, oh, jeez, I can't remember. Uh, Hollow Knight, I believe. Uh, so that's that, that's actually not too bad of a deal there. Uh, but then you see 520 here, uh, which has sold 339 of them 
like just crazy. So it's just absolutely insane what's happening uh, with these. And it just goes on and on, $300 for Switch Lights, and nothing's basically going for at price. You might be able to maybe at a couple game stops, maybe have sell some used ones laying around. I'm not 100% sure on that front. In fact, you know what? Let's just go to GameStop and just see uh, if there happens to be used ones laying around here. Uh, they do have console bundles. They have Animal Crossing Switch Lite um, eShop card bundle here. That's actually uh, more uh, surprisingly more money than than this is worth because you know two eighty nine. That's nice. Um, so I guess if you want that bundle for some reason, uh, that's cool. Well, let's actually see um, what they got here uh, for Nintendo Switches online here. <laughs> um, looks like they still have some pre-owned. Um, do they still have this available to buy online, or is it just local? Uh, pick up at store. Okay. Yeah, you can't. It's sold out online. As you see, this item is currently not available online. So it's only pick up at store, and this is not available in my area. Uh, so, yeah, they're sold out, uh, it looks like, on GameStop at, as well, at least online. Your local store could end up having a couple. Uh, maybe there's some pre-owned. Actually, I'm curious. Is there is there a pre-owned um, available in my area? There's not even a pre-owned available in my area for that. Actually, let's look, let's look at one that actually might have one available in my area. Let's look at, like, uh, the red model here. Um, this is the most popular model in my area. Sold out online. Um, mm, not available in my area, it looks like. Pre-owned. Not available in my area either. So, yeah. Um, it's sold out. Let's just, let's just be honest. It's sold out. And as the news says, Nintendo is saying that, hey, look, shipments are, are currently delayed. Um, so that's just the way it is. So if you weren't taking this serious, because uh, I know when I made the video, you know, about a month or two ago, people were just kind of saying, ah, oh, this won't be that big of a deal. It, it's not going to matter. Maybe it'll only be a week. I mean, we're talking shipments not even arriving in the u.s till the end of april and then just because the shipments get here they have to be dispersed so i mean maybe even into may before we get anything again the last shipment i've heard from my reliable sources landed in the u.s on march 15th so this is just something that's happening um this is the coronavirus this is covid19 the pandemic affecting our ability to play switch stuff and japan has it you know as much as they've had these huge sales they ran out of copies of Animal Crossing physically. I mean, that's that's like they're running out of cartridges. For, it's not even just affecting the the switches. They're they're running out of accessories and cartridges. Ring Fit Adventure. They can't make enough of those right now. Enough of the rings and like it's it's crazy. Pro controllers. They can't make enough of those right now. They're sold. It's it's nuts. And this is just the effect of a pandemic. It is affecting the world of video games, especially for Nintendo, who has a hot selling item. It's not hitting Sony or Microsoft as hard right now because their systems aren't big ticket items right now that everyone's trying to scramble and get. The Switch is, not just due to Animal Crossing, but just due to people are stuck at home and they and they, they want to go and have time to play all these Nintendo games. And they're having a hard time getting their hands on stuff. Now, the sales numbers for March are going to be huge because Nintendo already had pre-made and pre-shipped out a whole bunch of units for the launch of Animal Crossing. So Animal Crossing's launch numbers in terms of the sales of the game, in terms of sales of systems, are still going to be huge. March's numbers on the MPD are going to be massive. It might even be the biggest numbers Switch has done in the United States since launch, maybe even bigger than launch if Japan's to go by because Japan was bigger than the launch of the Switch. So March's numbers are still going to be huge. But don't make that, no, don't just sit there and pretend that that makes everything in April okay. They haven't been able to ship more units for, you know, a couple weeks now, almost three weeks. And we're at a point now where, you know, we're, we're kind of playing the wait and see game. The factories are, are, are still making switches, but they're making them at such low volumes uh, that the shipments are being stagnated worldwide. And it's just being very, really difficult right now to get units to the UK. They can't even satisfy the Japanese market. And that's where Nintendo's located, let alone trying to satisfy the US market, which obviously a lot of us would love to, you know, get into video games. And, and the thing is, we shouldn't really be leaving our homes to go buy a switch <laughs> that's another crazy thing like it's sold out but we're not even supposed to be leaving our homes in the first place to go get one um but that's like the only option right now is hoping that somewhere locally has has one laying around that hasn't sold yet um you know people have been joking around oh you need to get your fiance a switch light so you can have your switch problem. one she wants a tv one so it had to be a, a regular switch and two there's none available in my area anyways used or otherwise so I'm kind of crap out of lockdown. Maybe I can go on Facebook Marketplace or, or something like that. And that might be an option for some of you that don't own a Switch that want to get one. Maybe looking at Craigslist and, and Facebook Marketplaces or Let Go or something. But then you have to meet people 
and we're not supposed to be meeting with people so that's a whole nother conundrum uh so i don't know it's crazy um I mean, I'm, I'm sure Nintendo, you know, some people talked about, someone actually in one of my live streams, I, I kind of want to address this point because I, I see this brought up um, numerous times, that Nintendo, that the shortage right now, this sold out Switch is a purposeful thing by Nintendo um, to drive hype and drive sales. And there is a point to having artificial shortages creating demand. That's not the case here. There hasn't been a shipment to the U.S. since March 15th. Let me just beat that into your head. Since March 15th, there hasn't been a shipment in the U.S. So Nintendo, if they were doing artificial shortages, they would still be shipping units. It just would be less of them. But they're not shipping them at all. Folks, this is not some sort of planned, intentional shortage by Nintendo. In fact, demand for Switch is so high, this is the time that they would want the most shipments they've probably ever made for Switch to come out. They, they, they'd want, you know, they would want... 300,000 switches coming to the U.S., you know, every single shipment. You know, maybe half a million every single shipment, assuming that shipments only come once a week or so. Like, that. that's what they would want to happen. But they can't. They can't satisfy demand. They can't. Supply and demand are, are just off the charts right now for Switch. And to be honest, folks, the I don't see Switch's popularity dwindling just because they can't provide enough stock. That can happen too sometimes when things stay out of stock for a long, long enough time. People move on, they get their PlayStation 3s, their Xboxes, whatever, DSs, and, and move on with their life. But I do think that um, when we talk about Switch's viability for this holiday, I'm not that worried about it, guys. It's next year that, that I'm going to have a little more concern. This year with the pandemic and everything going on, and Nintendo's um, just an insane amount of evergreen titles that all these new switch owners this year are going to have to go back and play um I'm, I'm not too concerned about any of that right now um in fact i think console wars at this point just don't matter we're, we're, we're dealing with something that's affecting people um you know in the real world uh and we need to be focused on that but gaming is a great escape uh and i hope all of you are finding you know gaming or netflix or, or tv or board games or maybe you're going on walks i still go on walks every day i just try really hard to avoid people because it's a hell of a lot more people going on walks now than there once than there was before so uh yeah i basically see a person and i walk the, i turn around and walk the other way um but yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in i am nathaniel rovajance from this normal prime be sure to enter that trials amount of giveaway by liking the video commenting down below subscribing hitting that bell icon all that jazz i thank you guys so much for for sticking with me uh while i am navigating the waters of this pandemic between homeschooling my kids and having to to cancel the podcast for a few weeks now just because there's been a crazy stuff going on since school the schools got closed down and um i'm trying my best here to to still get content out when i got time and, and to do my best for you guys um i know it's been a while since we've done a live stream so maybe um i don't know you know maybe later today or tomorrow uh, i can get i can get a stream out to you guys and just chit chat with you guys about gaming about life in general um because i miss you all i really do uh, but thank you guys so much for tuning in to Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you guys whenever my next video comes out.